long ball out from Maher. Mullen, nice little flick on side. Didn't quite reach its intended target, but he's chasing it down. He does really well to regain possession. Hooban back to McInef. McInef to Duffy. Duffy with the left shot. But it's straight at the keep at the number two, Dara Power, and the ball just trickles out for the first corner of the evening to Derry City. Yeah, then a bit of luck there. The ball fell, fell kindly from Mullen, and uh, thought, thought McEnough could have had a shot, and he's laid it off. You know, I th thought if he had been more aggressive, he could, he could have got one away there, but corner to Derry. So far, scoreless between second and third in the Electricity Premier Division. The free kick is whipped under the front post. Ammon just can't quite make contact with it. Falls back to Parsons. Maher comes up, flaps at it, and it's up to Ronan Boyce eventually. And even his attempted clearance just spews off his right foot, and it goes out over the touchline for the first corner of the evening. There's to Waterford. Yeah, a bit of panic there in the six yard box with the Derry defenders, and Maher coming out and made a bit of a hems out there. Just checking to see who the sub is here. Ford, the number 26, as the ball's played into the box. Oh, and Mc, McMullen does well to keep it on play, but it's a great save again from Sam Sargent. Nice ball to Boyce. Asamoah closes him down. Boyce back to McMullen. McMullen wraps his foot around it. Dan Kelly was arriving late. Hooban gets ahead to it. Helped away by McAdam. Mark Conley just telling everybody to calm down. Takes the sting out of it and then plays the ball over the top. But again, with the one behind it, Paul McMullen was never going to get that. And Dara Power leaves the play to allow Joseph Ford, the number 36. Playing for Derry to try and play it out from the back. Just inviting the pressure from Waterford. As Hooban goes well. Plays the ball over the top. Dan Kelly stays on side. Kelly into the edge of the 18 yard box. Kelly advances. Oh. oh, and just puts it wide. Sam Sargent isn't happy with the linesman. I thought he had just played, he just stayed on side, Sean. It did look a bit dubious. But Dan Kelly, he played to the whistle. He didn't hear it and he kept going. And unfortunately for the right winger. He just couldn't quite direct it on target. Yeah, it was a great bit of play by Hoban. He, he, he's just put him on there. And the way Kelly's been playing since he started the match, he's, he's had a few stray passes. He should have buried that. Yeah, just here, I don't know if you can pick it up on our mics, but the frustration from the crowd is certainly feeding through from the stands here in the Brandeville. Hoban with a great flick forward, and he's taking a knock in the process. And the referee has seen that he has taken a knock, and it's going to be a free for Derry City. Hoban just holding his back. I don't know if we have a, a replay of that before the free kick is eventually taken. Hoban doesn't shy away from get, uh, getting no. on the challenge, anyway. That's one sure thing. Full blooded as the ball's played on. Duffy slides it under the path of Hoban. And Hoban makes no mistake in the 41st minute. Just side footing it past the outstretched Sam Sargent. Derry City won, Waterford nil. Yeah, it's just what Derry needed in the game. You know, they've had the best chances in the match. And that man we were talking about, who just went up for the challenge and got a bit of a knock. That's what he's been brought to this club for. That's why they've brought him here. And again, he's come up with the goods. That's his fourth goal this season. He's now joined top scorer in the league. It was joint top, top score with Padraig Armand, who will be absolutely furious. There's no chance he was going to miss that. He's four yards out. Joseph Ford actually went to sleep for the free kick. Mickey Duffy just got the ball out wide, cut on, found Hooban in the box. I expect Waterford to have uh, shots on target from all around the park as well, Sean, in the second half. Now that they're 1-0 down, uh, playing with the one that they're back in the second half. As Doherty launches another one on the 18th, Mark Conley helps it on, and it's an overhead, <laughs> oh, it's an overhead kick from Pat Hoban, I wasn't too sure if he was going to make contact with it, he does make contact with it, and it goes beyond Sam Sargent, a great time to score a second goal, Derry City 2, Waterford 0. Yeah, well, I was just saying the first time that he did, when he had an opportunity for the overhead kick, he thought twice, but he absolutely went for it that time, great bit of improvisation by him, and he's, he's got his second goal. It has to be says he's got off their flyer since he's come to Derry City. He now overtakes Padraig Amund as the leading goal scorer in the Premier Division. And the referee has seen enough for the first half. 
So at half time, Derry City go on with a two goal cushion thanks to that man, Huben. Patrick Ammon, of course, was at Woking FC. He's also played for both Rovers in the Premier Division, Sligo and Shamrock. Now playing his trade with Waterford. As the ball's played over the top, Paul McMullen gets on behind the defence. McMullen has brought the ground. That's a certain penalty. The referee does point to the spot. It was Dara Leahy with the final tackle on the Derry uh, winger. Oh. oh. Has he been it's sent off. off as well? Yeah, sent off. Go on. So Dara Leahy with that tackle. He must have been the last man, Sean. I didn't quite pick up on it, but... Uh, yeah, Waterford now reduced to 10 men. Yeah, and they're in all sorts of trouble now here. Just came on Andy Hoban again. He kind of ducked out of the header. And he is the last defend, man. The defender got oh. uh, mixed up. Yeah, he's just come across McMullen there. three at the start of the evening. He has an opportunity to double that. Hoban with the penalty. Oh, slots it into the bottom left-hand corner to make a Derry City three. Waterford nil in the 52nd minute. Yeah, and he's just spinning away with his trademark celebration there. Pat Hooban, first hat trick for Derry. And he's run the way with the goals at the minute. Top scorer in the league, and it's going to be a long night for Waterford as this game goes on. 10 men, 3 0 down. Well, Waterford were absolutely flying in the opening three or four games this season. They've been brought back to earth with a bump here at the Brandywell. Push on the back foot, says Lloyd. Patrick Amund on. Amund lays it into the path of Bagley and Bagley with that left foot he just couldn't direct the ball on target and it goes wide of Brian Myers upright the score remains Derry City 3 Waterford 0 70 minutes played here at the Brandywell yeah Derry's just getting a bit of lax on it you know they've given the ball away so easily and uh, if Waterford had any more quality they could have had a goal back Sam Todd Three minutes of additional time, so three minutes for Derry City to see out a 3 0 lead as Cameron McDonough breaks inside the 18 yard box. He lifts it to the back post. Dan Kelly with a b attempted bicycle kick, and it's eventually cleared. Paul McMullen is remonstrating with the referee. I think he thought he'd seen a, a, a handball. Jordan McAniff, oh, it's a stinging shot, and it certainly tested the palms of Sam Sargent late in the game. But Sam Sargent does well and gets down and smothers the ball. The score remains Derry City 3. Waterford nil. Yeah, it was an opportunity, you know, in the, uh, at the back post. And then the shot comes on from Jordan McEnough. Gets great power on that. Stings the keeper's hands. Well, the three additional minutes are nearly up. It's a game of threes. As, uh, it's finished at Fun Park. Fun Harps nil. Cove Ramblers won. And it's finished here at the Brandywell. Derry City in the first half had two goals from Pat Hoobin. They took the lead in the 41st minutes when Hoobin had a simplest of tap-ins from a Michael Duffy cross. Uh, in additional time, he made it 2-0 as well. But uh, after the break, after the break in the 52nd minutes, there was a foul on Paul McMullen. Dan Kelly had the ball, but he duly obliged and gave it to the Galway man and Hooban made no mistake from the spot after 52 minutes. Daryl Leahy was the only other incident following that when he got sent off for a foul on McMullen. That, I think that led to the penalty, didn't it, Sean? Yeah, it did, yeah. Uh, well, it's, 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 it's been Derry City's night and Pat Hooban has uh, done the business. He's done the business yet again. So from a very cold and blustery Brandywell. Derry City stay in second position in the table thanks to a three goals from Pat Hooban. It's finished here, Derry City three, Waterford nil. No.